Today we're checking out one of the nicest Color Plus versions of the sneaker that I absolutely love. Hey guys, welcome back to Kicks Reasons channel. Today we're checking out the white and blue Pump Omnizone 2. And this is indeed one of the nicest colorways that I've seen this year. And now I might have to go out there and chase the white and red pair because I have a suspicion that it's in the same level quality and looks just as nice. For some reason, I missed the white and red. I know they are now being sold everywhere and they're still available. So expect the video for that. I'm gonna grab at least one pair and show it to you. But now back to the white and blue and why I think this is one of the nicest ones. First of all, simple color combination between white and blue, it's always clean. And same one goes for white and red because I love these kind of combinations. They've always been very attractive to me coming from the question, coming from other models. White and red and white and blue are very attractive. And Reebok has done an incredible job bringing this uh, kind of colorway to this model. Of course, we've seen that back in the early 90s, but only models that were player exclusive or team exclusive at the time because Reebok was on feet of a lot of NBA players. And if you look at uh, some of the people that played for, let's say, Charlotte Hornets, Dale Curry, for example, or some other teams that the uniforms were blue or white and blue or some other teams the uniforms were white and red you will notice that they had the Omnizone 2 in a colorway that was not normally sold a retail so to speak this model is a PE that is releasing now later 30 years and I have to tell you once again Reebok has done an incredible job here why am I saying this? Because they've used genuine leather where genuine leather needs to be. If you guys are gonna see them on the close-ups, we're talking about genuine leather on the toe box everywhere, on the toe box protector, and even on underneath where the laces are, this uh, portion where it's on both lateral and medial side, and most of the lacing goes through, and it's kind of like underneath the big uh, Z, leather which stands for zone obviously it's genuine leather the only synthetic leather is behind where your heel is and right below the blue uh, portion on the heel area now i've mentioned that before i'm okay with these changes because this will never crease in the back uh, your shoe is not bending there not really creating any stress over this synthetic leather so this synthetic leather will look very pristine for a long time now obviously it's not as long as genuine leather because genuine leather can stay super fresh even 30 40 years and even more later but there are not a lot of weirdos like me out there planning to wear these shoes in 30 years but anyway the genuine leather is soft and it's nice just like in every other omnizone 2 retro that i've seen in the last couple of years now these are produced in november of 2022 so very recently and the insole once again is reebok athletics this is the insole that i absolutely love the one that i've seen in so many uh, vintage pairs that i've had in so many pairs uh, back when i was younger and reebok was on top of the market these reebok athletic insoles have the arch support they can easily be pulled they're not glued in you can just wash them without washing the whole shoe and refresh them and put them back in and they're gonna last forever because they're not gonna crumble they're not gonna disintegrate they're not glued in so uh, that helps you a lot managing and keeping the shoe very fresh for a long time now a lot of people have been asking me about the pump system well the pump is working again i'm gonna say it's not working as good as in the 90s but you can hear the air coming in and you can hear the air coming out and i'll bring it again close to the microphone so you can hear it's not a lot it's again not like in the 90s but there's some air coming in there's some air coming out just lower your expectations. Don't expect to be the same as before. Same goes for the Hexalite. The Hexalite nowadays, it's more of a cosmetic uh, kind of Hexalite. Uh, it is technically Hexalite because they're calling it, but it's not like the original one. And we talked about that a million times before. No sense of beating the dead horse uh, about it. In the back heel, we have stitched in Hexalite branding. And I love that they did this because some of the uh, previous retros over the years had just printed Hexalite where the original pair featured a stitched in hexalite and I absolutely love that. And the height of the shoe is almost exactly the same as the original one. The midsole is extremely soft, just like on the other retros. And I mentioned that as well before, but the midsole is softer than in the original. The original was much denser polyurethane. I remember it, we had uh, hexalite, but again, I prefer 
to have this kind of a soft midsole with, of course with combination with the real hex slide the padding is plenty uh, the only difference here again is just like on the previous retros the pattern of the inner liner is now vertical instead of horizontal which on the original one was horizontal and it was kind of gripping your sock it was very actually helping keeping the shoe on your foot and i, I really like like that sensation uh which i really appreciated and a stitched in reebok and basketball around the pump just on the ton again huge detail for me because some of these previous retros like mentioned they had it only painted over which looked a lot cheaper and it was not as good as having it stitched in like on the original one and once again i'm gonna say it seeing genuine leather on the toe box seeing genuine leather nice and soft really makes me appreciate that shoe uh, because this could be worn for a long long time and the more it creases and the more it's getting beat up it's going to look nicer and nicer in my opinion uh, of course we don't have the real stitching on the toe box i think the mold they created for uh, this model uh, they did not plan to have uh, the real stitching it's just mimicking stitching honestly would i would have loved to see the real stitching yeah absolutely am i really offended about uh, not having it not really i am sure they're using plenty of glue over here and i'm not expecting this uh, shoe to unglue anytime soon but overall they did an amazing job with creating a proper form of this shoe with a flat midsole outsole and not curving out like a boat uh, what i mentioned before on the previous retros they fit great true to size for me super comfortable and these colorways look absolutely amazing so far pretty much every single colorway of the pump omnizone 2 has been a huge hit and has been uh, a model that i uh, like and honestly i would have loved to have all of them in my collection they're so nice and who knows if we're gonna see them again or ever or how long we're gonna have to wait for new ones that's why if you're a fan of the brand grab yourself a pair add it to your collection put it on nice if you want to and wear them further down the line when nobody knows what it is and you're still gonna enjoy uh, the same glory just like before that's pretty much it guys hit the thumbs up if you like the video stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you're new there are a lot more videos coming very very soon a lot of vintage pairs a lot of new pairs a lot of other brands and as always guys you have a wonderful day